Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and today we're going to the Area Conquest to fight one big bad behemoth, Katobopas. He's a pretty tough guy. He has 550,000 HP, 33 defense, and 27 magic defense. He does only have a 50% resistance to breaks, so try to break him if you can. Definitely want to cast Protect on everyone. Get your haste to go up if you don't have auto haste as is the situation for me i'm actually going to try to cast mighty guard with kimahari once i get his overdrive let orin sentinel at the start here so he can get into lower hp and we'll start doing um more damage with his celestial weapon that gives him more damage the lower his HP is, all the way down to 1 HP. So it's good to start off as a sentinel with him. Wouldn't necessarily say to keep sentineling with him when he's in low HP, but... You can definitely start cheering against this guy as well to boost your character's defense and attack. It looks like we might have armor broke him, I'm not sure. I think Orin has one more block in him with Sentinel. Just to be sure though, I'm gonna waste a turn and cast Protect on Orin, even though I'm gonna get Protect on everyone. When I do the Hyper... Not Hyper, uh, the Mighty Guard. With Kimahari. And here's cheer number two. According to the internet, Cheer stacks up to five times, so I'm going for five. Oh no, Flare. Oh shoot, right as I get Kimahari's overdrive too. Oh well. Sentinel with Orin. Here comes the Mighty Guard. So this will cast Protect and shell on everyone as well as null all. I'm gonna use Yuna to cure herself. He still has not attacked Orin again. <laughs> I'm thinking Orin has one more attack left in him. I'm gonna use magic break. That protect really reduced the amount of damage Orin took. I'm gonna try to sentinel with him one more time. I know I said that last time, but I'm doing it again. <laughs> I believe that's chair number three. Yeah, I'm doing a lot more damage, so he must have had his defense lowered with that armor break. And here's a pop fly on Orn. He should survive. If not, we have the auto life. Yeah, that's some good HP for Orn to be at. I can't remember which cheer we're on, so I'm gonna do another one just to make sure. I'm going to switch over to Sentineling with Kimahari now. Cheer going. One thing you're going to have to watch out for with this fight is upon death, Tobopas over here is going to cast Ultima, so he could have a chance of killing everyone. You can remedy that by summoning an Aeon or you could just have auto life on at least one character and even if everyone dies from the ultima they'll just get brought back with auto life and you will successfully complete the fight i'm pulling out ixion over here one of my favorite aeons to drop his overdrive 53,000, not bad thunder horse I think Yuna's a really useful character. A lot of people don't like her, but a lot of people don't like Kimahari either. 
and he's one of my favorites of all time. Three eighteen, that's pretty good. And if you're not familiar with this overdrive, it will cast armor break, magic break, power break, and mental break. So that's gonna lower his attack, defense, magic attack, and magic defense. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got him into a good spot doing lower damage here. I'm just going to start doing auto life on everyone else with Yuna. Start, starting with Yuna because she has the lowest HP. Orin with 48,000. Kimahari sentineling some more. Orin with 51,000. He only did 520 damage to Kimahari, jeez. We're gonna auto life Kimahari. He might even be able to survive that Ultima. <laughs> I'm gonna stay sentineling. Kimari protecting the low HP Orin, allowing him to keep his HP without dying in the caution area. 22,000 from a holy, not bad. I'm gonna do a shooting star, I haven't done one of those in a while. Overkill! <laughs> Okay, so here comes the Ultima, and everyone has auto life, so we're gonna be fine. Plus we have Shell, plus we broke him, so I don't even know if everyone's gonna die. Orin's probably gonna die. Okay, Orin and Yuna died, and they're getting auto lifed. Kimahari though, he survived. He's a beast. His armor has plus 20 magic defense. <laughs> plus he was in Sentinel mode as well. We got three stars and a defending break. Alright, death proof and poison proof. That'll be good for Espada. <laughs> Too bad we already fought him. Guess I could go back if I really wanted to. Anyways, this is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly.